Time is 24 minutes past six. You're watching the news hour on GMTV. How many of you would be prepared to give up a day's wages to raise money for nurses? I would personally, because my mum's a nurse and I know how much they go through, so I would, yeah. If I had the money, I would love to give away. Yeah, yeah. I would love to. <laughs> they help a lot of people, actually. So, obviously, um, the kind of work they do, I think it's imperative that we do help such people. The reason that question was asked is because it's the subject of a Channel 4 documentary uh, which asked top Premiership footballers to give up a day's wages. That's not to say leaving messages doesn't work. Just ask ex-football pin-up Jamie Redknapp. I had to answer my phone to you because you get about 100 messages. I had to clear the messages. So like Liverpool, you're going to speak to Stephen Gerrard and mm -hmm. Jamie Gallagher. Who? Like, no. What's his name? I don't like Jamie Callagher. I speak to Jamie Carragher. <laughs> well, I don't like. He only plays for England. <laughs> <laughs> the only way this is going to happen is people helping people to make something happen for people. I mean, what a great story. Great. Perfect. <laughs> right, I'm going to play golf. <laughs> and you saw her there, the person behind the documentary, economist Dr Norina Hertz. Good morning. So mm -hmm. you got the idea of asking all these Premiership footballers to donate essentially a, a day's wages to help nurses. Why? Um, well, when I was in my teens, my mum was really sick. She was dying of cancer, and I spent many months in hospital um, with my younger sister, like, really living in hospital. And nurses were amazing, not just for my mum, looking after her, but to my younger sister and me. And they were the ones we went to when we didn't understand what the doctors were saying, and they were the ones who comforted us when my mum died. And I always held them up as the real heroes in our society. And... Um, and then I worked on Live 8, on the ideas behind Live 8. And, um, and I suddenly started thinking, you know, if we were able to mobilise rock stars for Africa, could I do the same and mobilise footballers around Britain's nurses? Because Britain's nurses are having such so, a terrible do, to time. Do, to raise money for, for nurses, what, just to supplement their income? Or, or, or for what particular? Um, the money will go into a hardship fund for nurses in financial distress. But what I have found out is that thousands, hundreds of thousands of nurses are in financial distress. A quarter are having to juggle two or three jobs just in order to survive. It really is an outrage. So it's also to build public awareness. Now, talking of outrage, John has had a number of rants this morning about the fact that l fewer than half of the Premiership footballers actually stumped up the Which cash. I think is and I, you were probably too polite to say that. I, oh. But given the fact they, are, they earn, on average, about £20,000 a week, I think it is scandalous. Yeah, they earn £21,000 a week, which is generally what the average nurse earns in, in a, year. a year. Yes. In a year. And I mean, it is staggering, isn't it? It was so hard. I mean, as you saw from that clip, I, I know nothing about football and I knew nobody in football. So if you can imagine, like, there I was. First of all, just trying to get to speak to anyone in football. Yeah. They're all surrounded by all these gatekeepers. But, 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 and, and, but apart and, from that, and, were you surprised when, that so few of them, um, in, considering how much they earned, so few of them contributed? I think when I got in front of teams, and, I, and you see it in the film, I go in front of these kind of groups of 30 sweaty guys who've just come off the nice. training field. <laughs> yeah, really nice. And, and some of them are like, oh, hey, babe, hey. And then when I start speaking, they're like, oh, this is serious, we should concentrate. Um, they actually, end, most of them ended up being really great guys. And the people who didn't donate are mostly people who I didn't actually get a chance to oh, get in right. front of. OK. Like well, let's Like the Chelsea team. Chelsea yeah. banned you from talking to their players. Unfortunately, Chelsea didn't let me present to their players. They did at the well, end make a donation as a club, mm -hmm. which I do appreciate. But I am sad that I never got a chance to present yeah. right. to their players. On the other hand, well done to Fulham. Reading, West Ham and Watf relegated Watford, whose entire squads donated a day's wages, and to Celtic and Rangers, who donated even though they weren't e asked. I know, they got in touch. Um, Barry um, Ferguson yeah. and yeah. Neil Lennon, yeah, they got in touch yeah. on Easter weekend and just phoned up and said, can we back the campaign? How amazing is that? Fantastic. Well done to all those who and contributed. well done to you, too, for having the idea. Fantastic thank you. Idea. Dr Norena Hertz, thank you very much.